Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Fierce Fight event and how you can get your hands on up to 6 really really good Goku units. So this is the Fierce Fight The Legend of Goku and I think this was originally the first Fierce Fight event or at least one of them uh, and it's a great event. You get six Goku units who've all been changed now with the event exclusive tag change so they all buff he each other which is pretty crazy and they make a pretty strong team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can get these units. Basically you take on these stages sequentially and you will eventually unlock Z power for them. You get 3000 Z power from the initial stages and then you can challenge daily stages every single day for additional Z power. There are also some missions and we'll take a look at those shortly. But in terms of taking on the stage, I am using a free to play team uh, it's a team you should be able to get before you take on the stage. So it uses units like the Blue Goku, uh, who you can get from the exchange shop. I'll show you where to find him afterwards. And it also uses the Saiyan Trio. So that is Nappa, Raditz, and Vegeta, as they are relatively easy to get as well for new players. And it uses Ultra Rare Goku, who's probably the easiest ultra rare to get and you should be able to get at least 100 z power of him pretty easily so there you go uh, that's kind of the team build obviously you can slot in whichever goku or other unit you want to uh in replace of the super saiyan goku that i am using however you know you can build your team however you want there's no requirements on this first stage or anything like that there's nothing crazy uh there's no special requirements you know in terms of units to use so you can use whoever you want to finish off this team to make this team really really shine uh, i'm going to use the ultra rare vegeta as my final unit but again you can use whatever uh use any team you want there's no real incentive the only reason i'm using a saiyan's team is because this first goku is obviously saiyan uh but also you once you start collecting the gokus it gets a lot easier but you're going to want a saiyan goku to beef up the first goku as all the gokus are respective battle bonus characters for their stages so for example when you are fighting to get the super saiyan 2 goku for the majority of his stages, he is the battle bonus character, except for the very first stage, obviously, to get their Z power. Uh, so it's pretty necessary to have kind of a Saiyan buff team, at least until you've gotten two or three Gokus. Then at that point, you can kind of just run the Goku units. Another great unit for this team is the Kakarot Goku. Uh, he's awesome, but he's not currently up, so that's why I'm not using him in the team. He's not a unit you can currently get in the game. So I'm not using him, but he is also a great unit to use. And we're gonna take on the stage. Uh, pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. The very first stage is relatively tough in terms of you're probably going to need to level up your unit to max level which is a lot easier nowadays and then i would also suggest soul boosting them but beyond that you don't need to do anything too specific you don't need like z tier gear or anything as you can see Graditz is making pretty decent work of goku pretty easily uh the blue goku also does a pretty good job of doing that Graditz is a very easy unit to get uh, him, Vegeta, and Nappa are all very straightforward to get, so you shouldn't have too big an issue. It all is very, very, very easy. So obviously, um, like I said, there are so there are three stages to start off the event. So you get Z power from those stages. Then what you do is you unlock a daily stage, and then you also get what's called a challenge stage. That challenge stage will be a stage where you can earn Zenkai Awakening power for the blue spirit bomb planet Namek Goku. So just be wary of that, that there is kind of like a procedural element to this. You're supposed to work your way through and then eventually you will unlock all the Gokus. Obviously, remember again also that there are missions involved and those missions are mainly to do with the categories that the Gokus are on not necessarily just Goku units themselves. So they have to deal with Saiyan Saga, Freezer Saga, etc. And we'll take a look at those shortly. But the main thing is, as you can see, now you can put in Goku and you can slowly start to replace the units as you go along. 
you can add in Goku. Then you can take on the next stages with Goku as that battle bonus character. You can see there that he is the battle bonus character. The challenges are all very easy. They don't count for Z power at all. So they're just a way to earn some stones. And you'll work your way along with your battle bonus character all the way across uh, until you get to such point in time that you'll then go up. Your first fight against Freezer will then be with Goku to earn the power for Super Saiyan Goku. You also will have a chance to unlock the daily stage. It's important that you run this because it's a great source of Z power as well. Once you've done that, obviously, as you can see, you work your way through the chain. Every time you will finish the battles, you will then unlock, as you can see, a challenge battle. That challenge battle will have Zenkai power for the blue Goku. That's not entirely necessary, but it does help along the way. As you can see, first fight against Frieza, we used red Goku. And then obviously you continue to fight with yellow Goku. So you can then add him in the team once you've unlocked him. You can replace your current Goku with him. Or you can just slowly start accruing Gokus. As I said, they are event exclusive units. So you just slowly work your way through the chain. And you can begin to accrue a whole bunch of Goku units to make a pretty strong PvE team. All the Gokus are also relatively good units. Um, they're not like mind blowing, but they're all somewhat decent. And so they can really add up. Uh, you know, like I say, you, all the boosts and bonuses can really add up. And you can start to build together a really solid team. You start with Red Goku, you can then go into Yellow Super Saiyan Goku, Blue Super Saiyan 2 Goku, you can go into Yellow SS3 Goku, etc. You can just slowly work your way up the chain as you can see here and then you can eventually add them all in as you get along and you'll be more than fine so it's a very cool event from that perspective it helps you build a really strong team it's a great like they say they're a great event for newcomers it really helps everyone out in honestly really really just kind of building a really solid free-to-play team now uh, another super important thing, of course, just to give a heads up, is obviously the Goku Day tickets are up. It's very cool. You can unlock a lot of them by doing this event. And you'll get pretty much a whole team worth of units for little to no cost as well, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, that pretty much covers the whole procedure. There's nothing else really to it. Uh, some important things to mention, and we'll kind of cover that now. Uh, just like one or two little important things kind of notable things you probably need to work on so the first most notable one is the missions so like i said there are missions they're episode related so you need to use or form related so you need to use gokus from those specific episodes well not gokus but any character but you need to do it while the event's live the easiest way is going to be doing this while you're actually taking on the event but try and just use this event team to clear some story or do some stuff just to get all these challenges done. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Or try and prioritize the challenges if you want to. But either way, try and get them done. Because they are quite difficult. Other ones to keep an eye out on are the friendship level ones. So you need to get all of them to friendship level 3. The easiest way to do that is through the Let's Fight mission. Now, obviously the Let's Fight upgrade is only a daily thing. So you do want to try and make sure that you rotate the Gokus. Try and make sure that you have them take it on and you get them to their friendship level and then you tick them off and then you move on to the next one. So that's very, very important and I highly, highly suggest it. As you can see, taking on Goku is very, very straightforward. It's very quick and easy, especially if you've already upgraded the Gokus or you've soul boosted them or you've you know leveled them up or anything like that. It's super duper quick, super duper easy. So you're not gonna have any issues at all. So. That's going to help you level up your friendship very quickly. You only need to get them to level 3, I believe. So it doesn't have to be anything too high. Uh, you should be able to get most of them there pretty easily. Um, rank 3 or level 3 or whatever uh, people like to call it. But yeah, you should be able to get there pretty easily. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So that's it for the whole thing. I hope this really helped you guys out. I hope you do do it. If you are a new player, it's definitely something that's very good for you. To get the blue Goku that you guys saw me using, it's rare metals. Uh, you go to the exchange shop and you can see his Z-Power is there for purchase. And his Zenkai Awakening will happen throughout the event. So pretty damn cool. 
uh, in terms of benefit. And yeah, uh, obviously his Zenkai does help a little bit, but it isn't necessarily the greatest. And his event or his Z ability helps, but it also doesn't really help that much. Uh, so, but overall, still pretty cool. And that's it from me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if you need any more help. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.